Off you go, please. Leo's a nightmare. <laughs> he like collects things and puts them into the food bowl. Mm -hmm. So there's a Kirby in here. <laughs> <laughs> is that for you, is it? <laughs> this is James' just one. James doesn't like the Nespresso pods. Oh no. I know! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different and I am going to be giving you an insight as to what my morning routine is like. So it's 5am just now when I go head to the gym and then we'll be coming back here. I'm not really going to be giving you guys an insight as to what my meals are, are like today. I'll give you a little taste <laughs> of what my delightful breakfast is. The majority of you probably already know it but um, we're just going to be really going through my morning routine, what I get up to from 5am through till 9. I hope you guys enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. Sunrises is one of my favourite things. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Oh yeah. Feel my heart rate in my stomach. You can actually see it. Oh, oh my pulse. Whew. Done. Clap here on your chin. Your lettuce. Got your potatoes as well. Mayo. Cheese. Give him his breakfast. Give him cookies and cream. They look pretty good, don't they? 50 grams of protein, 20 fat, and 50 carbs. So they're too high for me, but for, for James, they're pretty good. What's your favourite meal to cook? Do you do much cooking? Like We've got roast dinner tonight. I do make an almighty chicken pie though. Do you? A really good chicken pie. Nice. Is that okay? Looks good like that. Does it? Are you being sarcastic? No. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden. Oh my god. It's exhausting. Yes. My back has grown so, so much. It's actually crazy. I've never had a taper like that in my back before. Right, go get changed. So this is one of my favourite supplements to take when I'm breaking the fast. So, so I drink about a litre of water before I head to the gym along with um, a coffee. And then half past seven, I take my first supplement of the day, which is a, a, a. AM Priming. AM Priming is awesome for cognitive function. Having my busiest workload in the morning as well, this significantly helps. So I take two scoops of that. It doesn't look the nicest, but it actually tastes really good. Do you want to try? We've got a call at half past seven, so in five minutes we've got a call. I'm going to quickly log on to my WhatsApp now to see who's sent in their check-ins for this morning. I always get my check-ins done first, th first thing in the morning as well. Like, I don't wait. I know some coaches wait like 24 hours to give a response, but it would just give me severe anxiety. Yeah. Bye, love you, have a good day. 
He normally says it about four times. But I think what, love you? Yeah. He's being shy. He's being shy. You've got to remember that you was in an extremely depleted state the last couple of days prior to the show. You have consumed quite a lot of food and you have also consumed al alcohol. So you are going to be holding a significant amount of extracellular water retention. I want you to check in every single day for the next two weeks. I'm not wanting to miss a beat here. So 30 minutes cardio today, 30 minutes cardio tomorrow. Let me know if you've got any questions and I'll speak to you soon. So I took the, plugged the TV, the, the treadmill in and uh, smashed the treadmill off the TV. Oh no. Oh, let me get that. Fuck. Yeah, so we don't have a TV. I don't watch TV, but James does, so James hasn't got to watch any of the football. Oh, it's no. actually been quite nice. <laughs> I'm watching it on his phone instead, though. <laughs> With my girls who are in their competition season, when they are around, like, three weeks out, they're, they're checking in with me daily. Just because... So our body is in such a response, like a responsive place that the slightest changes and adjustments, they, they their their body can change super super quickly. And when we are carving up in the in the lead up to the show as well, I get them to check in check in meal by meal. But when the show is over, a lot of competitors go through this binging phase due to leptin and ghrelin levels fluctuating massively post-show binges happen and a lot of competitors do eat uncontrollably without even realizing and I've been there and my job as a coach is to support my clients through this I'm not here to give them into trouble I'm here to make sure that I'm giving them an understanding as to what could happen if this escalated even further. I always do recommend having a couple of days off post-show. Just from a mental perspective, you've been on a diet for six months plus. It is good to just mentally switch off. And the majority of that is extracellular water. Some will be a little bit of fat, but when you're um, in such a depleted state as well, when you do start consuming carbohydrates, con sodium again, your body Body is going to, to hold on to additional water from that but I like to have FaceTime FaceTimes with my girls as well because it just allows them to actually let me know how they're feeling and I can tell by the way that their body language is, the way that they are responding to me, how they are actually feeling because post-show blues again is another real, real thing. Like a lot of competitors in the lead up to the show, they're getting excited. They've got that end date. When that's taken away, they feel, they feel like they've got no purpose. So my job is to actually remind them as to why they're doing this and remind them as to what their goals are now. Like a lot of a lot of females actually lose their their their, their cycle. They lose menstruation at the back end of a prep. And this is just because it is just their body's way of saying I'm not healthy enough to to conceive right now. So it is one of the scary parts is to a contest prep like a contest prep especially the back end is not healthy but my job is obviously to make it as as, as healthy for them as possible so having facetimes getting them to check in every single day post show is really important as we do start to drive calories up so i a lot of my clients macro track some follow meal plans i get their calories right back up to maintenance as as, as quickly as possible to prioritize health to priority to to um allow satiation like they're going to be starving due to the fact that they are on low calories high high cardio right now so getting food back up to baseline as quickly as possible allowing their body to to stabilize then we'll get a blood test done in around like six weeks time to see where um usage and progesterone levels are actually sitting at and see if we're actually on the track to regaining health like studies have shown that it takes anywhere between six to nine months to to regain all health factors coming out the back of a contest prep so it is something that you do need to consider in regards to your timeline as to when you're going to compete next if you're thinking if you're if you've 
finished competing now it's April but you plan to compete again in October you've not got enough time to get your health factors back into an optimal place before you go again and it's not going to allow you to be in an optimal place to to gain tissue um it is just going to accumulate even more fatigue when your body is in a de de deprived place already so yeah health health is wealth at the end of the day but I have done a full presentation on post show and also the recovery and reverse diet on FemFit so if you haven't already please be sure to check that out it is not a coaching platform it is an educational platform so anybody can join it's 6 99 for the first like 30 days and then after that it's it's 9.99 so it's really really cheap but there's over 30 videos in there already and it equates to like 12 hours of content so far but my, myself and martina are uploading videos every um every week so two to three videos a week so there's constantly um constantly videos going in there that's a lot of talking but i think that's what i'll put the the caption of the video to be dealing with binging post show morning routine and dealing with binging post show okay nice how much how much talking was that a good four and a half minutes or oh, something perfect <laughs> <laughs> your midsection looks nice and tight your back looks crazy crazy good tuesday check in thursday and then check in on on saturday or sunday please let me know if you've got any questions lovely but yeah check in again on thursday and i will speak to you soon have a fabulous day so this is the am stack so every morning alongside my breakfast i have five grams of an electrolyte especially after cardio as well electrolytes is going to be good to will basically help with your electrolyte balance sodium so i like to get electrolytes in first thing in the morning from a hydration perspective omega pro obviously from supplement needs quality is second to none and fish oils are absolutely disgusting the taste rank but these actually do not have any taste at all which is good immuno pro um because COVID. Leo, would you like some supplements as well? Would you like some supplements? He normally cuddles with me on the sofa, so around this time, before I make my breakfast, he'll get a little bit needy. Then he'll sit on the sofa and cuddle with me while I'm doing my check-ins, won't you? Mm -hmm. And then we have got magnesium by glycinate. I also have this first thing in the morning i have even got lots of new tubs <laughs> i got my got my delivery in yesterday so magnesium i go for one capsule first thing in the morning magnesium is one of the best supplements that a female can take because it helps with pms it helps with constipation it helps with gas it helps with migraines and it also helps with sleep so I take it one with my morning supplements and then I'll take it again in the evening alongside my uh, alongside my PM supplements. Curcumin, which is incredible for your joints. Yeah, this is also very, very important for females to take in the luteal phase of their cycle when they are actually more prone to potentially getting injured. So curcumin, but supplement needs have also just taken out a, a joint stack, which I'm super excited for. So we also take liver stock and then Immunopro. I've also got vitamin C as well. Oh, cannot wait to move. I bet. Okay. I do normally just swallow all these in one. Down in one. Yeah. But I like to chew the meat as well. So supplements, and now we're going to make meal one. 300 grams of egg whites, veg, 20 grams of nut butter, ketchup. Perfect. Ketchup goes on everything. Here we go. Meal one, veg, egg whites. Lush. <laughs>
<laughs> First meal of the day is always protein fats because I like to put the majority of my carbohydrates around my training window. So meals two, three, four and five have all got carbs. However, I'll just leave that for, for the next video. So after every meal, I'll normally just walk on the treadmill. This is how I like to catch up on messages on my phone. Walk on the treadmill for however long it takes me to catch up on the messages that came in outside a check-ins. I always lose this remote. <laughs> always lose it. I put it in the fridge once and James was like, why is that in the fridge? Now you've got diet brain. So that is it, that is its home. Leave it there. <laughs> that is the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. Please let me know if you guys prefer this style of videos. This is the kind that I actually prefer watching myself as opposed to training videos, but I did want to give you guys an insight as to what my training is like at the moment as well. But let me know if you do want more days in the life and more behind the scenes. We've got a day in the life coming up next, so that'll be good. Please remember to like and subscribe, but I am away to go back to check-ins. My mornings are always really, really hectic. They're always really, really busy, but this is the only way that I can stay organized with, with my workload. So if you don't get up early, I do highly recommend giving it a try because you will feel freaking amazing. Like it is only half past nine and I've done a shitload of stuff already, <laughs> which is good, but I'm not going to keep my goal day because it is boring watching me do check-in after check-in. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden.